the riding songs of love, but not for me. Oh, lucky stars above, but not for me. With love to lead the way, I found more clouds of grey than any Russian play could guarantee. I was a fool to fall and get this way. Hi ho, alas, and also lack a day. Although I can dismiss the memory of his kiss, I guess he's not for me. They're writing songs of love, but not for me. A lucky stars above, but not for me. With love to lead the way, I found more clouds of grey than any Russian play could guarantee. I was a fool to fall and get that way. Hi ho, alas, and also lack a day. Also, I can't dismiss the memory of her kiss. I guess she's not for me. Well, hi, everybody. So, um, I don't know the subject of our discussion. I'm going to be winging it, so please bear with me. There is a lot of ideas always weaving into my lectures, so I can completely split off into something entirely different and call it a certain name, determined on the themes that keep arising with my talks. All right, gentlemen, let me get as close as I can to you. Now, I have been discussing a lot of New World Christ Church. I've tried to hint on my motivational accountability life coaching that I offer. Oh, by the way, this is Ukrainian. I just want to spend time in the Ukraine. I was a mime artist, dancer and it was in town squares and things like this. Let me know if you want more information, I can provide you a link of my missionary global uh, efforts in the humanities and, of course, um, those that have a religious calling. Christian, Buddhist, Hindu, I don't care. Muslim, I don't care. So the New World Christ Church has been a big thing, then the counseling that I provide, policy, Pardon, I don't have to put in my dentures, I can barely speak. <laughs> Policy making, civilian group lobbyists that I'm contacting, and in myself as a community organizer, I have some civilian group lobby group work within the community organizing. That is new, very proud of that. We're helping our men get off of crystal meth. So if you need more than just my public practice, which is Social Alchemy Project Access Management, you can arrive at a personal uh, to personal treatment plan tailored to you. Focus, of course, is social justice education, prevalence, and democracy promotion without force. I make connections to your sobriety on the gamut of your politics and your political participation. So don't be stuck up and think you're better than that. The Tyler Lord Hamilton Foundation is a research foundation that uh, goes through thematic analyses, coding, coding, <laughs> dentures, mostly qualitative, and any research that comes out of the foundation is then pumped through the private practice and I gain more data, clean that data out, and then contact who I do from D.C. to Sacramento, because I'm in California. So, the University College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, which is the Tyler Hamilton University College of Behavioral Sciences, all of these things, the foundation, uh, the church, my entertainment, that is a social and cultural impact on the audience, 
All of this falls under the umbrella of Social Alchemy Project Access Management, where I help you with your treatment plan as well to pursue your arts. Many men out there, I don't know who's listening, I know somebody's out there. Men, you're the forgotten, mentally ill gay men out there that have mismanaged their social justice prevalence and their democracy promotion without force, freedoms, and liberties for the pursuit of your happiness. You use your civil rights behind your closed doors and you throw yourself into a lot of crime with other men. Men. So by using drugs and alcohol, crippling shame, barebacking and uh, chasing the bug, HIV, AIDS, it's all so inclusive with just normal STDs. STDs are the highest in Los Angeles in the nation. So the usage of your methamphetamines, your illegal, illicit drug use, drinking binges, being a bum, being a drunk, is the standard of living as a gay man. Throw in some party drugs. P and P party and play, you know the drill in the clouds. The skis have slopes. Getting high in the clouds, right? So the standard of living, plus never finding a lasting love and being oppressed by your inner homophobia and age discrimination, you're a little behind. I say to people that are Christians, I say, sure you're a Christian, but you're 10 miles behind Jesus. Well, to you gay men, sure you're gay, but you're, you're 20 miles from knowing the definition of gay. Just think that out and use the heart, gentlemen. Get a purpose, and I'm not talking about my infamous masturbate, jack off of freedom social policy. Get a purpose. No matter what it is, just make sure it is right on for you and it is not motivated by self hatred or self perception that you are what? Disgusted in yourself. So you go to delusional thoughts of grandeur, you want to be a star because what? You're lonely and you feel that you are a successful loser. But I ask you, in your cleverness, are you a magician or are you a hacker? Which one are you? Because, you know, you look crazy. Say, why don't you just consider learning to see what social arts can do for you? And I'm more than happy to teach you. Just do a bunch of searches on my YouTube channel, Social Alchemy Project. So come out of the closet, men, on what you want to come out of the closet with. It doesn't have to be sexuality. It could be that you're poor and you finally have to admit it to society because you've been busy trying to play dress up and looking perfect all the time. So you think that is socially fair in society to kind of live up to the Joneses, the neighbors that have more riches than you. So social justice education department is very important with Social Alchemy Project. And that's why we have the university, the church, to give you spiritual truths for those that do have a religious calling. To be inspired to use self-governance, focused learning on how to be your own alchemist and access your own tailored treatment plan and manage your social programs that I recommend in your community, organizational groups, to end global poverty and offering your motivational accountability, life coaching and counseling alternatives to political leaders and celebrities as well. So in a warm, enriched and supportive learning environment to develop, you learn what? You learn your life skills. Now that sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I think it does. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are not even nearly finished with this little pep talk for all of you. So really, I'm pointing to social alchemy projects. Social alchemy. Alchemy means change. Look up what alchemist means. So you have public service. You have mental health advocacy for me. You have an institute for psychological acting that we're undergoing, making plans 
also an international institute for intercessory prayer that comes from out of the New World Christ Church. So you must say goodbye to bad people. Because if you're going to stick with me in the social and behavioral sciences, I'm going to give you more than Facebook. Because you know the stats out there. Facebook is for what? Insecure people. So welcome, you gay straight alliance, to social alchemy and my theoretical perspectives. I have social arts theory to help create new pathways in your soul. At times, knowing that you should create new pathways in your soul by providing yourself affirmations and mantras that you can put on your, uh, pardon me about the freeze up on that webcam, and put on your mirror, in your bedroom, entryway, even the garage when you step out of the car, maybe there could be a mirror there with some wonderful mantras, not just in the bathroom, when you're sitting on the toilet. So, in the neuro-linguistic programming, let's say, or the hypnosis you put yourself onto, there's the unconscious. Up to 90% of your behavior is determined on the unconscious, according to Swiss psychiatrist and psychologist Carl Jung. I've discussed this in my lectures. So you need the arts that just come rolling out of you, and you're gushed with arts. And I get you to get back to an original dream or a pure in heart thing, where you no longer have to. You, you no longer have to put in dentures. I can barely speak. <coughs> Much better. So you no longer. Got <coughs> 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 to put all sets of dentures in my mouth. So you know how, so you know how to not rely on your borderline charm. The manipulation is very nice, and you get a lot of freebies and hand-me-outs because you're a freeloader, you're a parasite. You're one of the leeches in the system, according to certain departments of the government. So you bash yourself because you just need to become very honest. You are good. You just have to end that crippling shame, gentlemen. So very calculative and critical and cunty this culture can be with all you men. So you want to change your perception? No. You want to take captive your thoughts? No. Instead, you need to know what attention you give to and your soul's attention to certain matters. When you get attention, you get power. So whatever is coming your way, you give attention to it, or the people address you with an offer. And thus, it's attention. So, you can be on the fence of attention hole, but you need to stop trying to make people wrong, because it's rude, and acting like that is lower than the gay man. So what are your regrets? Where are your values that you've been rooted in as a child? And what righteousness comes out of you that can direct you toward what? Becoming aware awake, as I say in my lectures, on attention. So that's what we're discussing. You can live your bliss because you give yourself attention. Now, we're talking attention deficit disorder as a, as a diagnosis in the world of psychotherapy, psychoanalysis, psychiatry for medicine. Your psychiatrist issues your scripts to get your medicine for your head, and your psychologist, psychotherapist, counselor works with you. We're talking through your feelings. So you live your bliss, and as things get your attention, you move on to other, what? Attractions for yourself. But you have to live your best, your best, <coughs> dentures, through love, and when you become alone, then you can see you've prepared yourself with love for yourself, and you can find the strength now to create something artistic. In yourself, let it roll out, and boom, society gives attention to your work, and you're able to gain what notoriety. Are you lazy, men? 
It's a good question. Why have you not done what you've led folks to believe you would do? Is it because you are mentally ill, street and or gel bait, mentality, addicted to your porn? What's the slowdown, gentlemen? No shame. We must love and guide one another through ourselves in the heart of what? Attention on love. All people have prejudice, that is. But people don't have to lie to hide themselves. Come out of the closet, men. Give attention to the matter that you've been crippled by through shame and fear that one will reject you if you're honest. You need to what? Attract gay men that have their shit together. If not in college or finishing college and getting onto their career, then they should be getting onto a plan to re-enter and to stop their crystal meth and their successful loser what? Patterns that they give attention to. What man out there will come along to be a savior and give attention to you if in your glorious mind you don't love yourself, you're working off of self-hatred glory. So if you hate yourself, you're far from being guided. And to me, you're just a borderline charm. You may have to be going where you think you're going to go. So, when you get attention, gentlemen, like when women get attention, you know the drill. And they draw that in, makes cocks hard, makes women turn around and become jealous. To be swell and be racy, if you wish. Spend enough time with me, I'll teach you how to be very, very what? Sassy. Sassiness is good. We're not talking about getting the wrong type of attention. We're talking about the correct type of attention by being assertive in what you're destined to provide in your sweet destiny. And if you're an artist, you live in Los Angeles or New York, there's room for you. Just put it out there. Take control of yourself. Enter into your breath. End the mania, the delusional thoughts of grandeur, the misery. Accept the power that comes in and provide the power that comes out while never controlling people. You must surrender to all of your power at the end of your life. But it doesn't mean you have to live powerlessness because I think it's the spiritual mode you must take because that's false humility and it makes you so spiritual that you have no earthly value. So don't be receiving that type of thought where you refuse to be your best self and you walk into what? Natural power. Power of mind and just be what? Speedy. Godsend. Of life. Of course. Bood. In Buddha means to be awake. To be awake of the inevitable disappointments. So not to get too attached. Because decay and having attention on decay can be rather literally paralyzing. We've already touched on shame and its crippling effects. All right. So social alchemy access project that is an emphasis on anti-corruption and human greed disabling because man is a sexual animal and he thinks he lives in a castle because why? He has healthy erections. You know the answer to this. Come as you are, no perfect people allowed. New Rose Christ Church is the church for unseen research that comes out of the foundation and the private practices and the civilian group lobby work. You learn of the results, and it's your church of cock. 
If you want Tom Cruise, you make it a church that he's going to be ex accepting at. The Church of Out, Open Minds, Hearts, what have you, we've discussed this. You know the drill. Men think they are not shit because of equal opportunities and they're allowing themselves to hug. Make attention on these sorts of things because you only need assurance. All right? You get that through what? Positivity of affection what your soul's affections are and what you give attention to we've talked about comforts counterfeits shopping being prepared with your education but not being able to get the job with the skills because of competition so you only need assurance and if everything is falling apart around you like decaying Take caution if depression is speaking to you because you need to not dwell on that too long. You don't want to dwell too long because it's unassuring, because the hate and resentment can create that seed of corruption where you want to be better than other people, you want to do greater things than the public when we're all equal and your effort is of equal value from other people's effort in a universe of good karma and love. So be assured you don't need to be defeated. You may feel defeated at a moment, though know that you don't need to be defeated to get ahead. You need to chill, you need to relax. Because you only need assurance, predictability in a very changing world with uncertainty. This is all because of your mental health, right? So it gives you security and then by others being with people, you will be of your word. Because why? You have a star personality. This makes you a winner. We've discussed this before. Do not place value for you on zeros. Ten dollars, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a billion dollars. Base the value on you through if you got good sleep or not. Okay. You'll hear this in advertisements. I'm not telling you anything you don't know already. What you want is to rise up your head and keep your nose down with humility. And observe yourself looking right in your eyes in front of the mirror because the eyes of you are gorgeous masculinity filled trust the manhood gentlemen I'm open for transgender but it's like diagnosing people with ADD and putting the kids on Ritalin at the age of four okay are you gender fuck cross dress or are you really preparing yourself through doctor's visits the perfect eval evaluation so that you can get what your hormones and your sex reassignment surgery pre-op or that permanent impetus that you get when you start taking hormones for your breasts increase statistically gets you more depression they're saying Your dreams that will marry you and awaken you up every morning with a smile should you know who you are and have the psychological masculinity with people that step all over you to confront them. 
So how do you find a wonderful man if you are doing all these wonderful things for yourself? You're just trying to find a man that will love you back. What's the secret? Patience. It's a higher virtue in the Bible. You don't need me to teach Bible. You're not stupid. If you're honest with yourself, you need a savior. You're not stupid. And it doesn't mean you must doubt your homosexuality. It's determined feelings that you have based on what? The sociological norm and say all from the court of justice on what deviation, deviant behavior is. You need to care about what's happening in the world as much as you can and take attention. Be careful if you're manifesting a dwelling spirit. You are that star personality to never think poor. So on the subject of loving same gender and being loved and loving same gender eternally, you believe that your God of love in your heart teaches you mentally sound lessons to talk to your own self and observe your own ego. Why are you afraid to be out of the closet and let folks give you the attention you need via most people accepting you and you have to check off friends that are no longer your friends because they turned on you but you're going to gain something and you have nothing to lose but everything to gain no room for inophobia MSM, men who have sex with men Men are wild in and at heart. So do not interfere with your freedom to know that. That thing that you have to educate yourself on. Your, your soul work to do. Here and here. It's your responsibility to merge the both. I'll do a lecture on that when I'm ready. Educate on making commitments now and being a man of your word. Give attention to the truth. You are a role model. Whores are us. Sign yourself up. But let people live their bliss. My producer friend, JD3, John Downey III, producer in Hollywood, Reverend, getting his Doctor Divinity through the whole Della Reese thing, touched by an angel, she was best friends with her and some other celebrities. Best friends with Catherine Cermak, author and previous personal assistant uh, for Betty Davis. All of Betty Davis' estate went into Catherine's hands, and so my friend John Downey is her best friend. So when you have successful people around you in an industry that you are polishing yourself for and crafting your art, honing in your talents, might be a, someone who draws, a dancer, I don't know. We're just speaking arts. It could be literature, it might be a poet. So JD3 says, don't rent, don't lease, but own the real estate up here. It is your mind. You're allowed to stay sane, gentlemen. When you are sane and you're passionate, you've got an idea that you play a huge role in what? The political landscape. And you are risen 
through your heart. Your heart can now do it for you. You don't have to rely on the mind and the body to do it. The heart has learned its lessons. You have ideas that come out of the cross of your heart. The blood that has pumped from out of your heart, like somebody stabbed your heart. The cross of a Jesus heart. So you will be guided, guarded, and protected. According to JD3 and Della Reese. You can have prayer coffee talk with God, yourself. You can do that discipline if what? You put your attention on the spiritual practice. Be the pastor you were made to be. Be the shepherd of your own self. Sheep. Shepherd your sheep your ideas from your heart. Let your life be served through others because you are worth it. Be open to giving and to getting blessings. Do not beg when you are with God. It doesn't work that way. A producer friend talks about this. There is a compository of dreams that are collected in your heart through experiences. That when you enable them to come forward and not judge them, it turns into brilliance. Social arts. Is the graveyard of your own head keeping you trapped? If so, change your attention to art. And you'll clear up a lot of mental illness, disturbance. If you can tell a person you know what truth is in you, and you tell men how you own it, and what you did to get that ownership through attention Augmentation, modifying, augmenting your attention on what you give attention to. For now you are helping people by the application of your own actions and truths that you can what? Make room. For your moment to be the love in life. You give a man the will to clip your yard. And you pay him. But he doesn't want to do it. Then don't get it done. If his attention is not in the joy of service, and he's not going to serve you any more than cutting your, your, your grass, dentures, <laughs> with a what? A non-community building heart. What is in your community for those that love to protect their spirit and will get a lot from your divine God-based center of the universe, where you don't have to think poor about other people even though they think poor when they do a job? Blue collar, perhaps, but this can happen in white collar. This can happen with men with the money and the power. Even those men that are conscious of the good that comes from out of their power, because tomorrow may be gloomy, it might be stormy weather, but they have what? They have been frugal, 
prudent about their money, and they've saved. And now, as children of divorced families that are now self-reliant and wise and have given their attention to their livelihoods, are not selfish folks. They're role models. You are the role model. And you are not allowed to want a home to live in if you don't have what? Love. Or you will go insane for wanting even a family under one roof. You have to have love. Let's get you to see God in you and how your Hollywood is connected. Everything in your Hollywood, that means in your glam, in your best, when you're on, like law enforcement, they always have to be on, or an MD, in emergency, they always have to be on. Everything in the wheel of you as an artist giving attention to the theater fandom, folks that say you're marvelous, let that build you up, because that's pure in heart, and it's from the body of Christ and at the cross of your bleeding heart, and that's the soul, the pasturing, the self-alchemist in you to self-govern yourself. That's where you attract encouragement, folks that are spirited, in God, the God that calls you to be all to you over hate. So very elementary principles, but you just need to talk about this because you're out of the closet. You are capital if you do this. You're A+. Plus. And your home is an investment for life to be safe because you've given your attention to the hardened heart that seeks to be polished through the attention you give. Aunt Mammy is going to want you to do this. Aunt Jemima with the pancake syrup wants you to do this. So you need to find out which theory works for you. What's been proven by you? Oh, you can decide to commit suicides. When you go, you leave your ego in you. And you take your ego with you. And you're just a slobby deposit into the cosmos. So it is a decision that you make three times over. And it might take you six months to get this done. To believe that in the attention you give to the right part of you, which is heart of love, is great. Even when your mouth is closed, you might be very handsome. Though you open your mouth and people see who you are and they hear your personality and that mouth makes your soul make your face so ugly and people want to leave you but the attention to the affection of the soul and satisfying the curiosity of the virgin soul provides you lessons so those rejections are fine because you're a gay man that takes interest in another man because there is something being offered from them and to you these christians That have your attention on hating yourself and limiting your creativity as a secular humanist and your own form of missionary and providing medicine to countries? It's good work. You do that without a church. Your attention on the good is right now, regardless of you getting in the car, driving to Bloomingdale's or Saks and Neiman Marcus to buy clothing or Horchow, Gumps, the list goes on for furniture, sterling silver. 
I'm apprehensive to call you a Christian. Because on, on Friday, I like to party, and then on Sunday, there's 28 to 30 Christians that have different definitions of who Jesus is, depending on the denomination and the at day mafia church, right? It panhandles at the pulpit to get your money to put in a compassion fund and you have no say on where the funds go. It's up to the pastor going in and out of trailers to homeless people and having sex and doing drugs while he's giving your money to get a laptop to a homeless person. I've seen this happen in Santa Barbara. So anything that you've learned on the West may have taught you to self-condemn yourself, to hate yourself because you're born with original sin. You're not taught that in your life you always meet the divine inside you, not outside you, but inside you, in fact. And that meeting up you do as a gay man and a gay mystic, where you're not stifled by dogma. You take self-confidence with you. So, what do you say about every morning? It is like the pit is getting deeper and larger. It's because you need to produce what the public sector wants to see. So if you're a celeb or a public administrator or a visionary futurist entrepreneur, what they want to see is an honest person that goes beyond the honest and raw sex in pornography. You're pure in the heart, and what folks expect and demand from you needs to allow you to be educated on what? Love versus sex. Because it's just the right amount of truth that moves you and other people to the attention that furthers along what? The end of global poverty. Stand up like you want to enter public office. Gentlemen, go for city council. Have a focus on ending global poverty as swift as you can through planning that your passion goes beyond what an orgasm can do. You're so lonely, you're so bored, Think about becoming governor. Think about being nominated to Senate or Congress. No additional problems can happen because you won't make mistakes that you made before. You've tried out Satan, the hate, made you an ugly man. You're not in a pit. Believe it is all going to shit because after your desperate, scrawny little cries from your dicky heart, making a cottage industry out of being a gay man who can't come out because you have poor thinking and a successful loser, you still have no peace because the attention is on the pit the oppressiveness. Listen to the pittiness, the patterns of your head. And then when it rhymes, that pitter patter of rain drops falling on your erect metaphorical penis that thinks it's just the liter of the pack dominating because you provide disturbing sex. But you're empty, and you don't love yourself. 
You men, you use each other like cow meat and leave people shaking out of need to be properly loved. There are no answers when this happens. After such neglect and disapproval of men, you've been rejected. You eat healthy food and drink clean pomegranate pom dentures. <laughs> you drink clean pomegranate water. You achieve your stardom, but you're greedy. You're corrupt. You might like the message because you're thinking about Donald J. Trump, but I want it, us to think about us. Think about you. Do not let so much negativity in your life because you know what attention does when you give focus to the negativity. When you're sad and your depression talks to you, allow yourself to be natural. You are a wonderful soiree, darling. You are better than a party or a rendezvous or an event. A luncheon. Ballroom shows. Your shows. Understand your experiences. The male living that needs pure hearts to see what? Your love that gets your affection. So now you can have a life that picks up steam. Resounding failures. Failures that resound and creates memories. Have a struggle in you because of that private heartache and your unconscious making hardship for you. Pain suffering because of attention. It's a bizarre aristocracy when you name yourself healer, to be a healer, to be a disciple and a fisher of men. You need to be tinted in the house of music. Everyone loves music. Go there. It'll spoil you often and it won't make you a scumbag. Have you ever starved for a week? No. Maybe you have, but let's say no. Then you need to stop being a terrible American with privileges. And you need to know that everybody gets the same goodness. And you don't need to hide your fears of not saving the world because the world is perfect in its imperfection because you are a friend of the friendless and you love the unlovely which may begin with you being unlovely but when you love and you come as you are no perfect people allowed to you in that aloneness time you will let the heart believe that your money is already there You'll see it in the spiritual realm, and then it manifests. If you are thirsty, then drink your own saliva, piss, urine, sperm. I don't care what kind of communion you take with you because you love yourself. But know that you don't have to be a popular vampire drinking your own blood. Be not a cannibal for your sex, gentlemen. For real. I understand whore, slut, no shame. That's crippling. It's a Madonna whore culture. But if it gets you into a dark place in yourself and you declare that you are lost, you might be a victim of your own mind games. And the gay man's dark side controls him by defining him by the conduct Call yourself out on bills you haven't paid yet. 
no, this is not closed communication right now. It's comfortable and it puts my spine back. So don't think I'm closing my communication off to you based on this message. When you're talking to somebody, for example, in your social graces, you're on the phone and the company you're working with has outsourced to India, the Philippines, or wherever. You compliment them and you would tell them that they are blessed to have your jobs. It's put you in a hard place. How do you impress others when your job is a dead end? You try to be the best, but there's always someone over you. So much in our civilization teaches you to be an achiever through greediness for opportunities and to be a competitor that uses the value of relationships based on the zeros and rules that show you what you want to see. People, you're making yourself only more troubled in the culture of narcissism because you have an issue with the system of attention. There's a system there that leads you to finally making attention known to your art and it'll help change pathways in your brain. Do you tell yourself that you don't have enough money and you're not allowed to go places and to go on a date? Probably. A lot of gay men are poor out there with the thinking, not just what's in the fake lizard or fake leather wallets. Your life can be tough that you'll want to turn it off. Yes, undertones of suicide, folks. No shame, come out of the closet. It's been something you've given attention to. It is so bad on the dark side that you want to just wake up dead from the dream because this is it. It's a lifestyle and it's dreadfully unhopeful and a nightmare, yes? The American dream is a nightmare. Makes people mentally ill. That's the mind game, darling. Dirty dick dumpster cum pigs for pee pee hanging and swinging back and forth. Yes, you know how to please yourself, people. But you're broke and you do not think rich. Your sex is temporary transitory and fleeting and you are a pain in your own ass because you lack a spiritual discipline and practice. You need order through this and gain dependability on you being pure in the heart and safe because of love and in here is safe there's no heartache you're gonna get a heart attack because you feel unloved your life is special if you are a nudist take off your clothes get rid of status markers make comedic jokes about your body lose power and the power will come when you see in your mind you have a rich physique. You're made beautiful with your curves of fat or bones. And that is your exclusivity when you go into yourself. When you die to yourself and the ego, narcissism, they're separate things, but one and the same, you will take your soul with you to the artist's palette. You can paint your life using art 
that's just going to be the attachment you need to give to creation. So you may have not a tough time transitioning but you'll have a lifelong body stamp from here a tattoos metaphorically figuratively speaking I love me that's the attention you must give yourself it will help you with your promiscuity and everything. Gay manatee. You. Manatee. Humanism with men. Gay men. The gay logical vantage point of the humanities for the homosexual. Gay manatee. With humanism. You can never deny anything from prestige. From the honest gay man and his confessions to himself and leadership of other gay men and training disciples to go out and love other men that are afraid, you are acting as a savior that are allowing people to come back to their star personality And to put dope aside, the unavoidable and unwanted choices, the distractions are not settlements. They're absolutes, but you don't have to settle. You may think they are there to help you settle the distractions, but you're settling in the giving attention to the distraction. I'm not trying to skull fuck you. That doesn't mean in the mouth, it means in the ear. I'm not trying to mind fuck you like you are nothing more than a skeleton with bones. Not into that. You need to train yourself, men, to want to enjoy working to make your heart. What? available to hear this. When you hear something, it is to sink into the heart. Biblical scholars and scripture tells you to do this. This is your wealth and not thinking poor. You may show people that you're Batman in a jockstrap and squirm in it. But it doesn't mean does not mean that you need to clean it out with q-tips. Save your q-tips for the waxy ears. Let that wax dry up and then work the ear. Get some ear drops and drain it like a you-know-what down there. Gentlemen, people. That's your humanism. If you have water, wax, field thinking, you don't need to change your thoughts. You need to inspect what you give attention to. This is a very important thing about being Christ-like. Your global human family within the Christian sector may teach you to believe that you're going to hell. You're not going to hell. So that racist God or that Jesus buttfuck overrated. You know, you'll be married to God. But you can't have sex with Jesus as a man, because you're a man, and you're gay. I don't care what your fantasy is. 
I don't care what you, I'm assuming you're not breaking the law, but I don't care what you're doing in, behind closed doors. Two guys are married and adopt one another, and they think that they're only good at, to adopt an imaginary Lucifer. You know, I don't care. I just want you to stop hating yourself and people for not apologizing to blacks for the slavery and the prejudice that come from white supremacy. I want you to teach love even to the hateful people out there that are not even against you as a gay man, but black people. You need to clean out your spiritual gut. First thing, as a man, you must know that you don't need to fear women who make more money than you. Hell, live off of her. Get rid of your job. Men, you may have an opinion like that because of your Madonna Hall culture, but you can change people's lives if you allow them to give to you, like the woman, but don't take it as permission to take control over her and to what? I said it earlier. Use a borderline charm to manipulate, acting nice and then bashing her behind her back, calling her a cunt, calling her the wife. Do you know what is good for you? In surviving, has nothing to do with name calling. Absolutely nothing about name calling. Listen, you're desperate to suck cock, and there's no bang for your buck, men, because you've been used, and you're the first one that's been willing to be honest about this, hopefully, and talking on the subject of secret keeping. If you have a life of fun and building friends to keep you happy, societal, then get out of your girls and your wives a compliment from them to you because you're out with them. Don't be a man that thinks he has to be willing to be wrong. Be right. Say, I like men. I'm lonely. And he's an honest guy. Do this, gentlemen, and remind all the other gay men that we and all alchemists, change agents, trendsetters, whistleblowers, that you are not better than others. You have a gift that others don't have then you teach. Grow up and be a man, not a little boy. I've said this before. You don't get excluded and ignored when your talent makes room for you. That's in the Bible. People, pardon me. This sweater is cashmere, but it looks like velvet. It's so gorgeous, the way the light shines on it. Look, that's magnificent right there. It's so gorge. So I'm going to end with a little quotation of myself. I'm going to file it in a special folder in the office. And you can use these. I'm going to take it out of first person and put it in your shoes, all right? Aren't you absolutely encouraged? This has been our vid video. Betrayal. What you ought to give your attention to. You only wear the best feathers in the world. If people are here to pitch, then you need to be here to bat. It may be a wonderful game and magnificent one-man showcase with throwing your hard balls into the baseball field. 
When you end up at the end's rope, and you need more than a man in a hooker hills, and Chanel's cherry color, I want to suck your lipstick. Rumba Shamaya. You can stay with me. All I want is sunshine in my heart. And I get that. When you are relating truth. We've talked about this. So. These things. Ought to gain your attention. All right. Thank you for listening, darling. I want you to feel my love. Mm -hmm.